Hey everybody, welcome back to Starbase and today we are gonna work on the body of the new mining ship. So what I've been doing just in the background a little is to figure out how the ship is gonna look like and um, yeah, I think I pretty much figured out. Okay, so first of all, which is really funny is it looks like this thing is in slow motion being crashed. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so um, I am having a little bit of trouble getting that ring connected to this uh, to the flight deck over here. Um, I will see what I can figure out. Maybe like those sides, the top, top, bottom, left, right, straightaways. Um, is somehow going to connect to these or I will figure out some sort of mounting that could house that um, ring and then just push it forward basically like like this you know like a sort of a mounting on the side having um, straight beams uh, pushing it uh, mounting it so it can be radial around this part of the ship um, I was thinking I'm, I think I might go ahead and remove these top bits these um, range finders over here and then at the back I will have the um, uh, what do you call it? the engines or the thrusters at the back all around going down that way that way that way um, having range finders so that we can actually can I've, I've, I want to take this thing out for um, like uh, like out of the safe zone and see if I cannot mine stuff with it. Um, bigger asteroids and whatnot. Because this is... It, it can. I feel like it can do bigger um, asteroids. Bigger asteroids? I don't know what I was about to say. Like, my brain just cross-farted itself. I don't know how else to explain it. But anyways. Uh, so, yeah. I will see what, I, what I'm going to do with the rangefinders. Maybe just plop down a few around here and around there. Or something. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, but I want to have range finders for early asteroid detection systems. Okay, so next is going to be the body. Um, so we have two of these uh, cargo holds. So I'm going to have two more for the cargo crates. We have a total of 200. And in here, I feel like this is going to be like where every, all the magic is going to happen. Uh, this is going to be the insides of the ship and I just have to remember that we that I need to have um, batteries yeah a couple of batteries a couple of propellant tanks uh, there still needs to be generators and there was something and fuel cell rods uh, like extras and then the thrusters at the back and then uh, I think around I don't know where somewhere i want to have the like radiator panels instead of using coolants i will just have um like coolant racks to replace the coolant racks the whole time i feel like radiator panels is gonna be sort of used and uh, yeah so what i'm gonna do is this might be a two-parter video or three-parter i don't know but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to rush this thing see if i cannot sort of get it done very quickly as early as possible um, so that this week that is coming, I can do a, a lot of tests and things with it. See if I can get the YOLO code to work. Uh, because there's like sort of an expo or something coming up. Um, which is on the 29th and 30th of January. Um, so I'll try to get these videos out as quick as possible. <laughs> because it would be very useless for me to like months later post this video. And then <laughs> it's like, what? That happened? Um, so yeah, I will see what I can do. Uh, just to get this and uh, you know it might be a cool looking ship it might be something different but at the end of the day it's going to be a ship which I use which is going to be tailored to my needs and this is kind of what I like about Starbase and the whole ship designer thing if you understand the basics of it uh, you can design a ship that is like you don't really have to go and buy a new ship somewhere or anything you can literally go ahead and create your own using the laborer to collect resources and materials selling that off buying it from the auction house and making a ship that is completely customized to your needs, whatever you need it to do. For me, it's going to be a big mining ship, lots of cargo space, and some amount of automatic mining. So uh, yeah, that is uh, that's about it. Uh, let me jump in and see if I can get this thing to be ready. And uh, I think then 
the second part would be like maybe the completed body and then the next episode we're going to work on the thrusters and the episode after that uh the yolo code and maybe paneling and painting i don't know we will see anyways i'll be right back hold tight all right we're back and judging by the <laughs> depth of field uh, this will be the last part of the video and i've spent some time designing the body it was quite tricky i will still try to add this ring afterwards i still haven't done that but i'm pretty sure that there will be uh, i don't think there will be an issue if there's an issue with the ring what i will do is just use the body shape i will showcase it in a second um i will just use the body shape extend some arms out and then you know have these uh hard points or the mining laser positions have them ready to go um just to, like so that they can work in front of the nose over here of the uh, ship so anyways let me show you guys what uh what i've got for you so this is what we have um it's quite boxy i would say but it helps with the flight computer to know which side is what um I think the reason why I'm doing this video like in like two parts and not explaining halfway through the process and all that kind of stuff is because I kind of want to a rush this so that this might be ready for the expo thingy coming up um, and B I want to get to work with the thrusters right now and regarding the thrusters is because of the flight computer like oh, I've said multiple times so you were trying to make a box shape and have your thrusters positioned um for basically um rolling your strafing left right uh up and down forward backwards momentum all that so the flight computer knows the positions of all the um uh, the thrusters so that uh, it's easier to for it to figure out like where's what and i want to get the back side of this ready so we can have our thrusters and getting some of the generator things and whatnot going um yeah so there is a little trick i want to try see if it works if it does work i'll be very very happy um just want to see something okay yeah i'll see what what's gonna happen there um i might what i want to do is basically copy this pattern over here this top to over here because i just copied literally this part and pasted it this way and ended up with something oddly like this um i might just go and do something else here like copy this pattern and have it sticking here uh like i'm following these lines in between for the back of this or the top part uh but yeah anyways let me quickly give you guys a tour of what's going on so obviously pilot seat and whatnot then we'll have a place to enter over here and i was thinking of maybe having a hatch or something on top so you can jump in here or maybe in here i don't know uh basically what i've done with this ring is just i copied the ring and extended a little bit like adding a little pieces over there and there just so that i know this will fit and um well it is sort of the still the same shape there's no difference actually it's just i deleted the in inside parts so that um, I can get these guys in here so that it can be attached to the rest of the body. Now there is some weirdness going on like over here for instance. Like they don't 100% line up but I think this will still work. Um, I think you can even add a little plate here. And that will work. Um, but the welding it, it should still be valid. It should still be a valid point. Uh, but there's no stretch that's going to go through these at all. Um, it's mainly just going to be like at the back end throughout this frame and then obviously the uh, thrusters that's going to be responsible for the controlling of the ship um yeah basically controls not the f not the thrust forward but the other motions um okay so in here i've gone and added this roof and floor yeah there is a little bit of a gap but i feel like we can use this for maybe battery storage or some uh wiring that can go through here um, I know there is a thing they've added, which is devices networking these things, um, which we can use, which might be useful. I don't know. 
haven't really tested them out yet, but I know they go into the ducts like this. And you have a pipe or something connect there and then at this end. So you s save up on a lot of space. And I think you can copy paste it like this. It will still be functional. So it still counts like that way. So you just add in this end and then way at the other end you can have your pipe coming out come out that way. So there's not like a millions of pipes and uh, network like whatever's um, all around like using up all your like uh, budget. Um, where is it? Your cables, pipes and ducts. Just your cables and pipes. You don't use up all of them but you can use ducts in instead. And uh, yeah. So then we have a floor, we have a roof, we have our cargo crates around and we have, I feel like this will be enough generators or whatnot. I did copy this from somewhere else, but don't tell the owner. <laughs> um, I just wanted the um, equivalent of, so that um, the thro uh, like we, I don't have to worry about if these crates get full, the uh, ship won't like be bogged down or dragged or anything. Okay, so, and then uh, these fuel tanks over here, these propellant tanks, or high, um, what are they called again? Here, here, um, right, Pro uh, propellant, yeah, it's basically just a propellant. Um, yeah, so four large ones should be suffice. Um, and yeah, that's basically the, to the end over here. And yeah, the, I think the last part is going to be the, um, basically the thrusters which i'm gonna add it should be also a very short video i think i will start on it right after this video and then uh see how far that gets us and uh, if things go well within this week I've, i feel like i'm gonna spend about a day or two uh let me just get rid of that maybe a day or two just to get the yolo rocking and rolling but um as far as this is looking it's it looks like it, it will be uh, suffice, you know, it will work. I hope, I hope this shape, I feel like, I think the shape will be fine. This, this shape will be fine, as is. Yeah, I think it will be. But I think two days max for the Yolo part. Um, it's just basically figuring out these uh, center parts or the um, positioning, how these lasers are going to fire alongside the rangefinder. And I remember it was quite a long code. But it, was, it wasn't it was complicated, it was just tedious to type it all out. I know you can copy-paste, but like, there is some minor adjustments you have to make because the position of that uh, mining laser is not the same as that one, for instance. In, and, and it goes completely invert when it comes to like that one, for instance. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think that is it. Thank you so much for joining me here on Starbase, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh,